welcome back to my channel. So super quick video today. Recently I've had a lot of questions um, as a makeup artist from friends and clients both having trouble with their bronzer. Where to put it? Why does it look muddy? Why is it patchy? Um, is this too dark, too light? All kinds of questions about bronzer. So I thought I would just do a quick tutorial. It seems like the main problem that people are having is placement. Where do I put it? And also people are having trouble with it looking patchy. The key to applying bronzer is to keep it simple and keep it limited. You don't want to apply it over your entire face because that's pretty unflattering for the most part. So you really just want to concentrate it on the outer perimeter of your face. And if you choose a little bit on the sides of your nose, you want to avoid putting it on the top of your nose because that's going to make it look broader. So if you keep it just on the sides of the nose, then that it will help enhance the nose without making it wider. So I'm going to show you really quick the best way to apply bronzer and the one I'm using is this new Hourglass Ambient Bronzer and this tutorial applies to any bronzer that you want. This is just my favorite one right now and I'm also going to be using the Hourglass Bronzer Brush. This is also my favorite bronzer brush right now. The reason why is because it is very thick, there are a lot of bristles and it's shaped like this which makes it really easy to get on the cheeks without getting too much product. There are literally thousands and thousands of bronzer brushes out there. You don't have to pick one that's shaped like this. This is just my personal preference. There are rounded brushes, flat brushes, flat top brushes, duo fiber brushes, dome brushes, small brushes, pink brushes, angled brushes. There are funky brushes and... Hey! I'm just going to show you really quick how I apply my bronzer face. What you'll want to do is find the top of your ear right here and think about a line coming straight down toward your mouth. Now, if you have defined cheekbones and you have like that that line that's clear cut, then that's the line that you want to follow. But if you're like me and they aren't very defined, you'll want to find that line before you begin actually putting the bronzer on your face. In addition to the cheeks, the best places to put bronzer so that you look sun-kissed is on the top of your forehead right here. The bigger your forehead is, the more you can apply on your hairline. You can also feel free to bring it down onto your temples. If you have a wider forehead, you can put a little extra right here on your temples and that will start to bring it in. Other places I like to put bronzer is across the bottom of my chin right here and then on the sides of my nose. So I'm just taking my brush and I'm going to dust it across the bronzer one time, tap off the excess, and start going to work on my cheeks. And what I like to do is just keep it on the outer, like the very outer part of your cheekbone right here at first. And with any extra bronzer that you have on the brush, then start to slowly work it inward. I start out with back and forth movements like this, but then I begin doing rounded movements as well to make sure everything is really blended. And because we started with very, very minimal product, we're not gonna have that patchy, muddy bronzer. When you're doing bronzer on your cheeks, you wanna keep in mind that invisible line from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. You don't want your bronzer to go below that. When you go below that, that's when you're gonna start looking like you have a five o'clock shadow. When you're bringing your bronzer inward this direction, it's important not to bring it too far in towards your nose, otherwise it's going to look really unnatural. By applying it out here, it's going to look more sun-kissed. Like this, this is the spot right here where the sun is naturally going to hit, so it's going to look the most flattering. But when you bring it all the way in here, it's going to kind of look like you have a mask on. I'm also going to do my forehead. And with my face shape, I like to apply bronzer on the entire perimeter of my forehead. A little bit on my chin as well. When you're blending, not only do you want to go back and forth, but you want to do circular movements as well. And you want to make sure you are blending upward in this direction. That's also going to keep the bronzer from going too low onto your jawline. And that's when you look like you have a five o'clock shadow. So make sure when you do your circular movements, no matter if your brush is facing this way or that way, that you are blending upward like this. The goal of using a bronzer is to warm up your skin. And if you do it correctly, it's really going to enhance your features and also bring some dimension to the face as well. So that's going to do it for this tutorial today, you guys. I told you it was really quick. So if you have any other video requests that are similar to this, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!